Hey, this is Ryan Witt. If you're watching this video, it's probably late in the evening or over the weekend, you're, you're stressing out, looking online because I imagine you just got a DUI and you're thinking, oh, what have I done? And now you get online and it makes matters worse because you're looking at things like the mandatory sentencing grid, you're looking at the loss of license, you're looking at you know what could conceivably be a tremendous amount of jail. So I understand the position you're in right now is just full of angst and stress and you know, I've, I've destroyed my life. So the problem is you get going down this rabbit hole where you're looking at all these sites, they're all pretty much cookie cutter. You know, you figure out what a plea is, what the jail time is, what a license suspension is, and there's nothing really dovetailed or you know, built out for exactly what, what your scenario is. So what I would suggest is kind of <clears throat> stop with the research and the attorney that you're gonna call doesn't need to know whether or not you were read Miranda or whether you think the stop was appropriate. You know, that's for the attorney. Let the attorney do that over the next couple months as your case is pending. But getting you from now to like when your hearing is on maybe next Monday, here's what you need to do. And this will de-stress. Um, you really need to inventory your priorities. It'll help you feel better and it'll help you have a more, I guess, productive conversation with the attorney. So, you know, if you are a doctor or a dentist or somebody that holds a professional license, maybe even in the real estate industry, you know, licensing is important. Or are you a commercial driver with a CDL? Or what about security clearances? Or you have to go in and are you concerned you have to disclose this to your employer? you know, the next business day, or what about, you know, I'm a single parent, I have to get my kids to soccer. You know, it could be you're going through a custody battle or a divorce, and this could be used by the other side. There's, there's just a million things. If you step back, think about how this will affect you, then you can figure out how to move forward and how the attorney can help you move forward. So ideally what you'd want to do is kind of get off the computer, get a piece of paper, make a list of what are the top three things for how this is gonna affect your life. And maybe it takes some time to think those up, maybe you need to sleep on it, but write those down and then you'll wanna call me. Cause you know, I could resolve 10 cases in my sleep if they're cookie cutter, but yours isn't. And none of our clients, we treat like a cookie cutter case. People come to us, they've got unique very individualized concerns, you know, maybe they're about to be deployed. Maybe there's certainly like real issues where, you know, next Tuesday I'm being stationed to San Diego. Like these are things that we work with and you're never going to figure that out by looking at a chart on somebody's website. So come up with that list and be prepared to make the call. And if you're concerned about making the call, maybe it's a financial thing, you know, we're not gonna be the cheapest firm out there, but we're also not gonna be the most expensive. You don't see us on a billboard in Fife. You don't hear us on the rock and roll stations, you know. We don't have to spend that money for this overly curated advertising campaign. So we pass that along to you. You know, our, our, like I said, we're not the cheapest, but we're not gonna be the most expensive. And um, if it's an issue of payment, you know, just, just ask, May, you know, maybe it's something we usually have payment in full, but maybe it's something that it could be spread out over a little bit because we do want to be able to work this out for you. I guess what I'm trying to stress is just don't be concerned about making a call if it comes down to payment because maybe you'll be surprised. Um, so anyway, what I would like to leave this with is I, I feel for you in your situation right now. I know it's a bad time and it's stressful, but it's not gonna be as bad as you think it is, especially if you put all the noise aside and drill down on how you know this is gonna really relate to your life and we start from there and then give our office a call. Thank you.